Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm building this awesome wizard tower that I wish I could live in in real life. And it's available on my Patreon, just like all my other builds. But, so you know, I had to split it up into two videos. So the first one's going to be just the tower. And make sure you check out the second video, which is going to be the actual snake part of it. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the base of the tower. And here's the dimensions for that. And we're going to start with this entire red and yellow area. Just cover it with stone brick slabs all the way around. And then just inside of that, we're going to line it with regular stone bricks all the way around. Then these little three-piece bits here, go ahead and fill those in as well. Now in these areas you're gonna put five of the stone bricks across on all four sides. Then right in front of those just uh, throw down stairs on all sides equal again. Now we'll put uh, chiseled stone in all the corners. And this is the back wall. So it's five high by five wide. It's all stone bricks, except I've got a couple of pieces of iron fence and cobblestone wall. And these are all cobblestone walls as well, two high. Then put two chiseled stone in each corner, and then I'm gonna start on the side. This is, this. both sides are gonna be the same. It's again, five high by five wide. All bricks, just tuck some upside down stairs, and then some cobblestone wall right in the middle. Then again on the other side, it's just for a little variety just so it's not a blank wall, not functional at all. Before we go any higher, let's fill in the floor with some dark oak planks. Then just like the stone areas, we're gonna fill in those little three bits. And this is dark oak slabs. And then dig out, and then dark oak planks. Floor is done. And this is the front. This is the hole where the snake head's gonna bust out of. So that's why it's gonna look like a jagged hole. That's exactly what it is. Just tuck some stairs in the corners, and you're done with that part. Now we're going to build up those wooden corners, so right on top of those chiseled stone blocks you're going to stack eight of these stripped dark oak wood. Breaks up the stone brick pattern that we've got everywhere else, then cap them off with more chiseled stone. Here's where we start separating the layers with cobblestone wall, and you're going to do this almost all the way around. The only place you're really not going to do it is on the back wall, because that's where your water elevator is going to be. So I'm just going to add a row of stone bricks. Back in the front, we're gonna add three layers of stone bricks before we start building up to make that first window, which is seven blocks high on either side, by the way. Then we'll connect them and add one more row underneath and then tuck stairs in the corners again. That's it for now. We're gonna go to the side, which is the same exact pattern as we did in the front. So seven high and then two rows and then tuck the stairs in the corner and one more time exact same thing three layers seven high two stacks two stairs then in the back we're just gonna stack these bricks as high as everything else which should be ten high cobblestone walls and then the chiseled stone this time we're gonna add nine wood all the way around. The only reason I did this was so that it looked better in the thumbnail when the snake is wrapping around it. So if you want to keep it even, you can just do eight if you want, but, but this is what I did. And then cap them with the chiseled stone. Add two more of the cobblestone walls. In the back, stack more stone bricks, 11 high. Now another layer of cobblestone bricks that goes all the way around, except this time, just like last time, it's not going to be on the back wall. Then add four layers of stone brick on all three sides before we add the next layer of windows. This time for the windows I'm going to stack four of these and then put four of the cobblestone walls just inside. I'm going to do that on each side, well all three sides that are left, and then we're going to cap the top which is going to be a little bit different than we did last time because now we're about to hit the roof. So we're going to put these stairs in here, just place them the way that I do. They're going to come to a point pretty much at the top, and then we're going to just put one stone brick right in the middle. And then we're going to repeat it on the other two sides. So just go ahead and follow along with what I'm doing here. And we're going pretty high up here. I don't know how anyone's going to build this in survival. I bet somebody does, but uh, wow. Um, good luck. Let me know how that goes. Now we're going to get ready to place the big fires all underneath the windows. So I used three pieces of nether rack all the way around and covered them with dark oak um, trapdoors. And then, or you could put flowers in there if you're nicer than me, but I like fire. So <laughs> I'm going to put uh, upside down dark oak stairs all the way around to make it look like it's supported against the building. We can light that on fire in a bit. 
Now the reason I'm using a piece of yellow wool and then putting these here is that we're going to have to do some interesting things with uh, upside down stairs and I can't until the other blocks are already in place so for now whatever block and then seven stone bricks. Now seven more stone bricks on all three of those sides. And then just inside we're going to put five more. And now we're just kind of piecing it all together. It uh, took me a little longer to figure out because it gets kind of complex. So if you could just follow along with what I'm doing, great. If not, so sorry. But some of these are pretty, pretty difficult to do and show and repeat. Just do your best. You can always fix things afterwards. If something is out of place, it'll just be a block or two in that area. This is dark oak planks, five of them. Uh, we're going to be... I can do this on all sides. Some of it may get destroyed later when we're putting the snake around the tower, but um, for now I'll just put it all the way around. Maybe you don't even want the snake and you just want the tower, so there you go. And then there's dark oak slabs uh, all the way around. And then we're going to be adding the stripped wood in all the corners. There we go. To cover it up and then uh, they jut two out here so that it'll be even with the, um, the slabs. Then as we're coming around here you can see that I clearly forgot to put a row of slabs. Just go ahead and include those. I'll add them in later but uh, go ahead and put them in now. And now I'm gonna put the dark oak buttons around so that it looks a little more solid on every one of these that's jutting out. And there you go. Here's where I noticed. Put it in. Now we'll remove the yellow part and uh, put in upside down cobblestone stairs all the way across there and uh, on all three sides actually. Now it's upside down stone brick stairs. Five, and cap them off at the ends. And we're gonna do that all the way around as well. After that, it gets real finicky. Um, it's gonna be a lot of switching up and changing what blocks I use. So just go ahead and follow along with what I'm doing. You're probably gonna need to pause a lot if it's just too tough, either do a simple roof or I will have it available on my Patreon for download. Uh, so you can just check it out there. So just follow with what I'm doing and uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll be back when it's time for the water elevator. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know how it goes. Good luck and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed. It helps me out a lot or at least drop a like on this video. I would very much appreciate it. Thanks guys. I'll see you in a bit.
which way is up and down. I'm going to put some dripstone. So uh, the one on the right is going to be up and the one on the left is going to be down. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dripstone. There we go. One, two. That'll block the whole thing. Here you got to squat to be able to do that. Uh, so just crouch. <laughs> uh, one, two. There, that'll show you easily that's down and that's up. Next we got to protect the inside. If you don't put something there, the water is all just going to spill out into the middle. Um, I like to keep it as open and simple as possible, so I'm just using ladders and I'm going to go all the way up on the inside on both sides. Boom! Just like that. Alright, so we've got it going all the way up and all the way down. I think now we're ready to put in the water. So we're going to knock out this dirt here and we're going to put in the magma and the soul sand. Magma is on the left, and then Soul Sand is on the right. If you don't know, Soul Sand pushes you up, and uh, Magma will push you down, but you have to do some very specific things to make that work. And the next step is to take out all of the dirt and replace it with water. And dig, dig, dig. Oh, hey, I'm done. Alright, so um, those are emptied out. Then you're just going to have to go to the top and drop in buckets of water on both sides. And if you did it right, it should just go all the way down without any spills, any overflow. It should stop right there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, those two work. Great. So next, we're going to have to use kelp. You're going to go in and uh, build kelp up all the way from the bottom to the top. And when you get up there, just break it all back, all the way back down. And you'll see what happens right when I bust out this last one. It's going to shoot me up. There we go. Like a 
rocket. It's awesome. I love it. Now you'll do the same on the other side, but unfortunately you can't plant kelp on magma, so you'll probably have to knock this out, and uh, I just put some dirt in there. That'll work. And then build up the kelp all the way to the top, just like before. Then just break it all, break that dirt, and change it with the magma. And uh, when you're back at the top, you'll see it'll just suck you right down. It takes just a few seconds, and you're done. You will not drown, okay? It's cool. <laughs> Tested it out. And there you have it. It's all done. You can decorate it however you like. I'm going to go ahead and decorate it the way that I did, so just so you can see it, just in case you like. And boom, I'm done. There we go. Last piece. Okay. It's just a bunch of books in the middle. Stacks of five with lanterns on top. But that's it. You're all done. All right, that was it for part one. Stay tuned for part two. That's going to be the snake part of it. Thanks for watching. Take care.